I finally finished planting my buffet for the Japanese beetles. Actually, I've tried to tailor my plantings to plants that they ignore or only nibble. But actually, garden maintenance is a lot more than just beetle control. First, deadheading. It's surprising how many people do this wrong. The idea is to get rid of the spent flower, the deadhead, before the plant starts wasting energy on setting seed. Now, these Bermuda beech petunias don't necessarily need to be deadheaded because they're sterile and won't form seed. You can still do it to be tidy. Don't just pull off the faded flower. Take off the whole seed capsule. If you have a lot of slugs, you water too much. And if you have bark mulch, the slugs like to hide under there, so it's another reason to just skip the mulch altogether. But this is a safe and effective product. Great retro design. And I think now it's called slug and snail killer. But don't use any salt. Salt kills plants. And skip the eggshells. Have you ever cut yourself on an eggshell? Me neither. And slugs are slimy. They will crawl right over those eggshells. It was a great iris year. And now it's time to cut off the flower stalks. Only remove the stalk, not the leaves. Never cut back the foliage unless you're dividing and transplanting. Then you can cut the fans back by half. This will help the rhizomes get re-established. Cool season vegetables and flowers decline in the heat. Pansies and calendula can take the cold, but they fail in the heat and they begin to attract spider mites. Lettuce bolts. That means it tries to flower and the leaves get bitter, kind of like Rob. This is one of the last heads. We pulled it roots and all and we'll put it in the refrigerator until we're ready to eat it. My vegetable garden is one of my favorite places to work and it's really more of a flower garden that happens to have vegetables in it. But when these guys come, they help me fertilize today. And the reward, of course, is lettuce.